Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing an organization video for my college years. Um, I actually have like tips which I'm really excited about because I never have tips when it comes to organization or studying because I used to really like not be an organized person. I mean I studied but I study hardcore now because I'm a college girl. I figured it would help you guys out if you're in college or even if you're in high school or middle school or elementary school or preschool or kindergarten. Yeah, so I'm going to take off these glasses as soon as I start the actual video. <laughs> I just wanted to wear them because I never wear them. I say we start talking nerdy now. I've survived my first, I've survived midterms and I want to kind of talk about like how I helped myself study and stuff like that, so figured it might be useful, maybe. As far as organization, I'm so happy with how I decided to take my notes. Sometimes my teachers like talk so much that I prefer to use my laptop and that's only in like one class because I have no idea really like what he's saying. But it's very useful to have a laptop. I bring it with me most of the days, um, usually Tuesday, Thursday classes I bring it. Not, oh, you know, use a laptop if you want to use a laptop. But I have my five subject notebook and this is from Target, but it's from the brand whatever that is, Med, I don't really know. I like how I ended up dividing my sections in my notebook because it's not like you're gonna use like 90 pages unless you like write really big or you take a lot, a lot of notes. But for my first semester of college, I did not take that many notes and I have plenty of pages left. But I just kind of separated each subject into a subject in my notebook. And I hate loose leaf paper because it gets so messy so I just like having things in my notebooks. So I just kind of have like my criminal justice stuff. Is history of western political thought. Looks like this. Wrote in blue or yeah blue. And then my American politics. I could use a three subject notebook but I am using a five. And I just really like how that is organized so I don't know. Everything that I need is in this notebook. I mean, it does have its disadvantages because you probably could misplace this, but this is my life and I would not misplace it. Knock on wood. Another thing as far as organization is my file folder. And binders take up... Did you hear that? The doorbell just rang. File folder because I don't like binders because they take up so much room in my um, thing. And plus I use my notebook for all my notes. So when people... When I have like things passed back, I put this in my file folder just as Sarah and I got like a little decal. It's separated into each subject and whenever I get something back or a teacher passes out like a little handout or something like that, I put it in here so everything I need is in this file folder as well. And it's just easy to find stuff. And but using the file folder as opposed to using a binder saves you a ton of, ton of space in your book bag. As far as textbooks, I, the ones that I've bought I've and that I've actually used, I highlight in, but there's nothing really exciting about that. As far as note-taking is concerned, when I'm studying, I like to go on Word and I make my spreadsheet or my document into two separate columns. And when I'm like making a study guide for myself, I just kind of put like the general idea over here and I put over here my um, the actual answer or the information like for example types of policy and then the distributive and redistributive so I can fold it over like this when I'm studying and I can check it once I'm done you know it's just really useful I've done this for every single exam that I've taken in college and it's helped me a lot so this is a lifesaver and then, um, since I'm a political science major, I'm in American politics right now, and there's a lot of Supreme Court cases, which I adore studying, and also a bunch of acts. So I take my time after I'm done taking the notes for the day, and I highlight each Supreme Court case in pink, like that, throughout the section that I just wrote, and then I make the actual acts blue, because it makes me study. Then I have my agenda, which I love my agenda. My agenda is my baby. If you guys, I've shown it many times before because I take a lot of pride in my agenda because I think it's the cutest agenda ever known to mankind. This is the Lily Pulitzer um, August 2011 through December 2012 agenda. And it's a smaller one, even though I kind of wish I would have got the larger one. Note to self, next year, like not 2012, but like 
next year as in like the next school year when I need a new one even though this does go to December I want to like an entire new one for the new school year when I'm a sophomore I'm gonna get the bigger one but okay I know this is really similar to all that glitters 21's video on like organizing her agenda but I did this before I saw her video so don't like accuse me of copying but what I do is I put each one of my classes in a different color like I have honors which is purple American politics which is blue um Comparative politics is green and criminal justice is the dark red and then also a history of western political thought is white light blue and then my Greek or sorority things is written in pink just like extra things is written in like a lighter red like the day I got my new car I wrote it in red just so I'd have it and that just I feel like saves a lot of room in your agenda so you don't have to be like oh this comparative politics first week I had everything written in a single color then I realized the next week which is this one right here that I needed to do it in different colors because that would just make me a lot more prude and it's a lot prettier to look at your agenda like that Okay, so that was my video on my organization tips and studying tips and stuff like that. So I hope you found it useful, maybe. I don't know. And until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.